this is my mirror cruiser uh, 5.7 liter v8 scorpion motor and i'm going to do a sensor overview this will work for most uh, engines of this type this is the computer port a and port b you can see in the picture here there it's where it is and this is how it looks in the diagram and you can see that a and b are kind of marked upside down these are the connectors you can pause the video and look at them moving forward to the uh, transmission oil this is where the oil goes up into the heat exchanger and this is the sensor switch if the oil gets too hot it will disable your boat from starting so this is basically just an on off switch moving to the other side this is our water pressure sensor it measures the water pressure that comes from the water pump and sends this to the engine's computer um, as you can see here, it connects into the water line and just sends the information to the computer. This is your throttle position sensor. It uh, sends to the computer your throttle position and that's how the computer knows how much gasoline to inject into the engine. This thing here is your spark amplifier and your ignition coil, it's a one piece altogether. Next, if we dive all the way in here, this is your uh, transmission safety switch and it allows you to start the engine only when the transmission in the neutral position so it's called the neutral safety switch if this doesn't work you will not be able to start your boat this is your throttle just a mechanical throttle that goes to your throttle handle and moving all the way down to here um, this is your knock sensor it's hard to see it from here so i'm going to take a picture from the other side you can see it, it's basically just a ring that sits on your motor and listens to the motor. Um, you can see it here better, and in the schematic you see just a ring, it's like a little microphone, and it uh, listens to the knocks. Over here, this is your idle air mixer controller. It allows uh, more or less air when you're in idle position. You can see here without the air plenum, you can see where it's assembled and it looks like that. It's basically a solenoid that the computer opens and closes based on the RPA in, in idle. Going on the other side, this is your temperature sensor. This is the sensor that sends the temperature to your boat computer. And this is how it looks like. And on the other side, this is the water temperature sensor that sends the information to your boat display. So there are two. This one sends it to the display that you see in your dash. The other one sends it to your um, engine computer. Then if we go down in here, this is your engine oil pressure sensor and it sends the oil pressure into the engine's uh, computer. On the other side, you can see down in here, this is your analog oil sensor and this sends the oil pressure to your dashboard that you can read it on the manual gauge. So both are measuring the same one you can see, the other one the computer reads. This is again the spark amplifier and coil. And uh, if you go all the way down under your engine, you'll see this is the high pressure pump that pumps the gas into the injectors. And it's also cooling the gas using uh, the uh, water that it pumps. This is the full system. You see there is a pump and there is a cooler. And this is the high pressure system. 
If we we'll go to the other side of the boat, you will see this is the pump that simply pumps it from your um, gas tank. It goes through the fuel separator and it pumps it into the high pressure pump. Whatever the high pressure pump doesn't use returns back into this system. That's why there are two uh, lines going out of it. If we dive all the way down here, really hard to see, but uh, down there, there is the engine position sensor and this basically um, tells the computer where the crank position is so we can know when to time the ignition. And uh, here I couldn't get a video because I needed to remove the um, air plenum, but uh, this is your manifold air pressure sensor. It just uh, lets the computer know what's the pressure and this is the temperature. So the computer used this, these two to um, create the mixture with the injectors. Are These are your injectors. There are eight of them and this is how they're wired. They take the high pressure gas and injection into the system. So that's it. So please uh, like and subscribe so I can make more videos to help you do your own maintenance.